Alright guys, welcome to your 50th tutorial and as promised we're going to be working on the constructor and also the GUI in this lesson. So let's go ahead and well do that right now. So public client is the name of the class that I'm working in and I'm actually going to pass in a string host. Now let me go ahead and explain to you guys why the client class is going to be different from the server class. So basically we're building two programs here. One of them we just built is going to be sitting on a server. Now the server is a public server. Everyone in the world is going to be able to access that. So it's basically going to be waiting and listening for anyone to connect to it. However, this program right here is going to be sitting on your personal computer, your uh, desktop or your laptop, whatever it may be. Now those computers, you don't want anyone in the world to access. That's only your computer, your information is safe. So since we don't want everyone in the world to be able to access it, we're going to build this program a little bit differently. We're going to be giving it the IP address of the server that we want to talk to. So this program right here that we're building right now is only going to be able to connect to that server wherever that program is instead of everyone, you know, being able to connect to your laptop because you know that wouldn't be safe and that would just you know probably blow up your laptop so that's what we're going to be doing and that's why we need to pass in the IP address of pretty much the server or where we are connecting to so again before we do that we're basically going to be building it the same as the last one where super just the title that appears client client mofo and uh, the other one was like named Bucky Instant Messenger, but I'll just name this client something so we know that it's the client. And of course the server IP, the variable that we created right here, is going to be equal to the host or whatever we pass in. And the reason that I made it up here is because we're going to be setting the variable equal to a value right here, which is of course the IP address of the server, but we want everyone to be able to access it so that's why we're putting it right there and the rest of this is pretty much just like the last one user text of course set this equal to a new jtext field and after this user text set editable equal to false because we don't want them to be allowed to type anything before they're connected to anyone and the last thing we need to do is user text add action listener and inside here let me go ahead and make it pretty add action listener and let's go ahead and add a new listener class and of course this has to implement the method public void action perform action event event now that my error messages are uh, out of there we can go ahead and do the important stuff and the first thing we want to do is send data which is basically event how you of course send the data or send the message or whatever and the next one is user text set text equal to nothing at all alright so basically what we're doing is we have to build uh, this method right here send data and what this does is basically take whatever's inside your text area and sends it to the other person and this right here of course like you know resets it back to blank and if you don't know uh, what I'm talking about I go into detail in the last tutorial basically the same uh, technology that we're using so now we just gotta add this all to the screen add user text border layout north make it appear at the top of the screen like the last one chat window set this equal to new j scroll pane did I do that right okay I think I'm, I'm way messing up here I was typing and I was looking at my keyboard because I got a weird keyboard right now alright so the first thing that we do do is chat window equals new 
J text area. And now we add it to the screen. Add. Dray scroll pane. Chat window first, and where do you want to put it? In the center, and okay, I finally got that right. Now I set the size, and I believe my other one was 300 by 150. And now we just might have to make it visible. So set the visibility equal to true. And you guys should know what all of this crap does already. We basically um, added this to the screen, then put it inside a scroll pane so we can you know scroll up and down, set the size of it, and made it visible. And the only uh, error we're getting right now is the send data because we didn't create that method yet, and we have to create it in the next video. So again. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, making that start running method, but I'm actually going to name it something different. And as you'll notice, I name um, a lot of my methods something different because it just helps me uh, understand, you know, I don't like the name of the exact same as the server and the client, so I might switch it up a bit. And we also have to code it a little bit differently since, you know, we're not accepting IP addresses or not accepting connections from everyone. We're only connecting to one specific computer. So definitely don't just copy this exactly like you did the last program or else it's not going to work. So anyways, the next program we're going to be setting up one of the main methods. So I'll see you then.